Today I'm going to be doing a review on a can of food I get. Yeah, some poor, whatever. Ah, friend Eddie uh, gave me this brand of chili, uh, Wolf uh, brand chili, of uh, authentic Texas recipe apparently with beans. So it's a, basically a chili. Supposedly it's really good. So I have it here. I got my chocolate milk. Put my vapor, of course. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, let's take the first bite, you can probably, I don't know, I don't know how you want me to do this, I don't give a, give a shit, but, I'll set that right there, so I'll mix it around a little bit, chocolate melt, bitch, fuck yeah, do a little bit. So if only it's good, I just wish I had like fucking chips and shit with this. Like they would, like this would be a great dip. That if you got nachos or something like nacho cheese and shit, like this would go really good with the nacho cheese on chips. Like actually, actually that would be like my favorite snack or for like foods or something. I've just had it as a as a dip. I want to eat it as is right out of the can. No, I'd use it for something else rather than and the food. It's also got a really good kick to it, which is which is even better. I'm just I'm just gonna leave it at nachos. I mean, it probably there's other foods you can, you can probably put you can probably put it on tacos too. Hard shell, soft shell. I don't give a Give it in, you know, Sasha, you got the taco meat and cheese. But the taco sauce, yeah, this would go great for that too. But for just out of the can and if you just didn't eat it straight up, yeah. Wouldn't recommend it. I mean it's good, but they do better with some dip. So I'm gonna continue eating this. And uh, I got some bullshit. I got a, I watch it, my PlayStation 3, you got the fatty, it's not the backwards compatible one, but I'm going to be uh, watching Auction Hunters, so just uh, be prepared, I don't know if you want to, I don't think you can watch the TV, actually you should, here hold on, let's just leave it, if I can, Nine hundred. Just revealed himself. Nine fifty. Yes. A nine fifty to nine seventy five. Nine seventy five. Nine seventy five. Tmar steps in front of us to block our view of the auctioneer. He's doing this to try to get us off our game. Right, oh. Yes. Twenty five. Before we knew it, GMAR took this unit to twenty-five hundred bucks. Way more than we thought it was worth. Very final one. So, whoa. So is that how it's gonna be today? So I hope it's a good one. Gentlemen, can we have a consensus on that room? Because I'm all messed up now. That was completely personal. I gotta tell you right now, if it's gonna be like that today, we gotta figure this out. This guy obviously wants us to know that this is his house. And my ten units. I got 685. Bitch! I got 70, 725. Eight. Sold. 825. Gmar. Gmar was making this personal, just to make a point. I do have an open at 11, I got 1125 and 1150. 1150. 1150. Sold. 1125. Wow. Gmar. Once again. Gmar. 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 You do matter, it's on the grandma. 
course. Check out the old antique furniture. Oh, dude. Hey, that looks like a pinball machine. It's gonna be worth a lot of money. I right, get your last looks in. I think it's 3,500. That's it, right? Yeah, because it's there. Timur has proven he has deep pockets, but we really want this unit, so hopefully he's tapped. Fuck, bitch. All right, I do have a new bit of wooden horse. That wooden horse is a wooden dick. 13 over here, 14. 14, 8, 15. Yeah. 16, I got 16, 8, 17. 17, I got 17, 8, 18. But 17, 100, 8, 1800. 1800. 1800. Got it. I can tell that Timur saw the value of that room. And he knew that I saw it too. So I got 2,000, I need 2,100. Yeah. I got 21, I need 22. Yep. But 22, I need 23. 2,300, sure. I got 23, I need 2,400. 25. I got 2,500, I need 2,600. 2,600. 2,600. Fair and final warning. Three. I got 3,000, I need 3,100. 3,100. Thirty-two. We got thirty-two and he's thirty-three. 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 Fair final warning. What a bet. Thirty-two hundred. That auction was insane. We got two units for thirty-five hundred bucks, and we didn't let Gmar run us out of town. You didn't do your ass kit, bitch. Stormy Fort Lauderdale. Once we get in those units, we're gonna find out if we won the war. All right, let's see it. That is a cool boat wheel. Like that? That is actually pretty awesome. All right, that's worth the room on the bread truck. Let's keep going. Oh. Damn, okay, now we can. Damn. Sometimes an ammo case is just an ammo case. What's the blank about, though? That's what I don't get. See, this could have been testing rounds. Oh. So this is pre-electricity. So that makes it 1850 right there. In the old days, you stuck your cast iron iron in the fire. Smoke coming off of it. That is awesome. Ah. Hey, check this out. Be good. Be good. Here it is. Holy crap. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. yeah. Disco feeder. This is an awesome horse. Mostly you find me, no glass, not operational. What are you saying? Seven thousand dollars. That's insane. Seven thousand. Fuck me. Hey, check this out. Be good. Be good. We got the bottom of the lift. There it is. Holy crap. Talking It's a breathalyzer. If we give you a few drinks, it'd be funny. Put the money in here, put the tire low into the hole. I want to see if this bad boy works. It's a party to it. Dude, I'm lightheaded. <laughs> Hopefully all those smalls we found will add up to big bucks. But first we get to rip open the wooden horse unit that we paid 3200 bucks for. 66. Bitch. First person to pull out something cool wins. I win. This is an Everglades reel for fly fishing. Listen to that. We are probably looking over 100 bucks. Oh, what do you got? One ounce of silver. Minimum value, if we know, is, is silver weight. 30 bucks for an ounce. Boom, and you got five of those. 150. Not bad. Oh, holy crap. Oh, my God. It's a spear gun. Dude! There's the smile. <laughs> you just imagine a big school of tuna comes swimming by and you're like, mm, I don't want that one. Now it's locked on. Man, it's so simple. It reminds me of how the rubber band guns you used to fire when you were a kid. Exactly. But let's get this thing down and out of the way so we can get back in the car. What's going on, guys? You selling anything? Sometimes the other bidders will hang out after the auction, hoping to catch a glimpse of what they didn't buy. We call these guys vultures. They're looking for a quick bargain. Anything good over there? You want to take a look? An auction hunter golden rule is, you can sell a big heavy item before it even gets on the truck, do it. Especially when you're on the road. Ready for the deal of your lifetimes? 2,000 for the furniture. 1,500. 1,500 sold. All right, you're gonna do great with this, I guarantee it. 
Nothing beats making money on something that we didn't even have to live. See y'all later. Awesome. Oh my god, look at it. Fifteen hundred. This is an awesome horse. Wow. This is a turn of the century southwestern folk art horse. Carved by hand, painted by hand. This is a really beautiful piece of folk art. There's Bitch. detail here. It's very ornate. That shit sucks! Bitch your shit! Alan, what you got? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm lost. 1898, look at that date right there. Wow. wow. Look at this, this is copper. Reminds me of an old cash register. This glass, which you can see is hand blown. Yeah. That's not broken. How many of these machines survived with the original glass? Probably next to none. Look how yellow those dice are. That dice machine was well over 100 years old, and the craftsmanship was incredible. We can tell that thing is going to be worth some serious coin. Basically, this is a little gambling device without gambling money. The object of the game is to roll the lowest possible score using all five dice. Go for it. All right, I'm feeling lucky. The highest would be 30 points. Here we go. So anything under 15, yeah, win a cigar. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we just gotta find cigars. <laughs> Alright, what else we got in here? Oh! Yeah! Look at that! Disco fever. Even though disco may be dead for you, it's gonna have a comeback in these days. I hope not. Copyright 1978. This is a Williams machine. They're not even in business anymore. This machine is so clean, it probably wasn't in an arcade very long. And what's really cool is the original stencil art looks like brand new. It looks great. I like this. Yeah, it's got the keys. It's got the coin mechanism. These are great machines and really widely collected now. Check if there's quarters in there, bitch. This will still function. But if this goes well, we're talking about some serious scratch hole. Dude, did you just say if this goes well? Yes. Listen, man, a lot of times these old machines don't even start. Look at this old cord. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna be wearing bell bottles and everything else. <laughs> That's scary. Let's get this thing loaded and get out of here. God damn it. Boom! Thank you. We're making sales. Classic pinball machine in gorgeous condition. This has got to be worth 15 times more than the pinball machine. Whoa. Wow. We found a lot of smalls in those units. The good news is... Alright. Oh. Back to it. That's probably enough bullshit. So anyways, uh, that's a chili. I've been eating it really good. Like I said, use it as a dip. Probably for nachos or some tacos would be a lot better. Um... That's about it. I mean, it's good. I mean, if you want to buy a can, I don't know exactly where you got them. It was basically a gift for me to, to do this video on. So, it's Wolf Brand Chili, authentic Tense's recipe with beans, and, uh, uh, no, that's really good. <coughs> good shit. So, good night, bitch. Mm, fuck.